Hey guys, Eric Ross here for YHN. Today we are going inside the studio with X Factor Chris Renee and getting into some trouble. Okay, whenever you are ready. Yeah, yeah. You want to take a like a side? When I'm when I'm ready. Whenever you're ready. Ah. Uh. Trouble, trouble, uh-oh, uh-oh, she knows just the way to walk on by, that makes my heart stop, I don't know the way to say goodnight, cause she don't want me. Your single that you just released, Trouble, you recorded in here. Yes. And Trouble is about a woman that is just bad, bad news. You got that right. <laughs> what are some of the other inspirations behind your your music? Inspirations behind my music and the message that I want to portray is the motto that I got is love life. And, you Throw know, up your hands, show them. There you go. My job is to remind people and, and remind myself through music that, you know, life is precious and every day we have is another chance to do something good and inspire someone else and keep, make that domino effect go. Now when you went on to X Factor, you were sober for only 10 weeks. Were you a little nervous going on to X Factor, just like newly ble being clean? I was nervous because Simon Cow was right there. Correct. You know what I mean? And Paula and Ellie Reed, and Nicole, I'm like, these famous people are gonna watch me. That That's the exact same thing that gave me the courage to go out there and do it and break through. I don't need travel, but I choose it. So you went from being a garbage collector to going to X Factor. Who encouraged you to go on X Factor? Nobody was like, hey, go on the sh go on a show. You know, people did tell me throughout the years, you know, you got a good voice, great voice, and, you know, your songs are tight. And they're like, why aren't you famous yet? And I'm like, like I don't know. <laughs> I was just inspired. I seen James Durbin from American Idol. And he's from Santa Cruz, California, same town. I've been there my whole life. I'm like, whoa, this, this guy did it. Well, my turn, let's go. Turn into a kiss, now she's running through my mind. So you shot X Factor two days a week. What did you do on the other five days? The other five days were basically practice and rehearsal and just learning a song. What I was doing was writing verses uh, for the songs because every song I wrote a verse or two to make it my own. Absolutely, and they were like blown away by your song, which by singing an original, that's always a little dicey, don't you think? On yes, shows like that? definitely. Young homie. Young homie, young Hollywood. <laughs> Hello. I love that song, it's mm -hmm. awesome. And the judges, like I said, they were so inspired by you. You got a standing ovation. Did L.A. Reed or Simon Cowell give you any words of wisdom that have stuck with you? L.A. told me, I haven't worked a day in my life. He's like, you do this because he's all, because I love it. I love it. So if you love it, it's really not working. That's exactly what I'm doing today. I used to buy my album. It's coming in October. I used to be crazy, but now I'm living sober all day, yeah, 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 mm, yeah, 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 yeah,